Oh god, this is like a game of hide and seek, except when they find you, you die! Oh my god! <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. This week, we're starting off with a tank scenario here. We're in the town of the captured. This town was once bustling with villagers, and now machines have captured it. So we have to take it back. It looks like I do have an ally in front of us. And we're in an IS-3 right now, a very sexy looking tank. And it looks like we're going to be joined with a Sherman. So this is an interesting alliance, but hey, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, oh god, good start, good start. Okay, we've already tracked ourselves. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to tighten the tracks on this tank. It's such a beautiful looking tank, and if the tracks could stay on, uh, it'd be great, but I'm having a hard time keeping them on. Looks like they're staying on this time, so let's see how long it will last. We can still drive it around without the tank tracks on, but it, it feels like it's a little bit cheating here, so whoa. Uh, yeah, looks like somebody's mad at us. I don't even know what happened there. I think they just blew up the thing. Oh god, don't come over to me. Yo, you're on fire! Little villager, I'm trying to save you, please don't! Oh, you did it, you freaking- I did- I knew it! I knew the moment it would touch us, we would catch on fire, and now we're totally screwed. Alright, let's give that another shot. This time I'm staying far away from that guy. Oh yeah, something- Did he just shoot that? Okay, yeah, I think it was my teammate that shot that. I really don't know. These guys are still on fire, and they're trying to chase me, so... Let's just try and get as far ahead as possible. Looks like my teammate did just get hit. Of course, I'm totally tracked. And what was... Was that my teammate's freaking turret? Are you serious? This is just not working out for me. All right, we're going to give another tank a shot. This one is looking really, really impressive. This is the C-121 Ares. It's got an auto loader in it. And I don't know if it will work with this map, though, because you're supposed to use a tank that shoots on you. This one doesn't, and it's got an auto loader system that I can't easily change over. But that being said, it's a much more reliable tank, it looks like, and it looks fantastic. Now, this thing on the top is actually a crossbow as well that we can shoot. Oh, man, that thing's really powerful as well. Uh, wow, it's like a machine gun, as, as it's supposed to be. But we also have an auto loader in here, so if we press this button... Oh, yeah, we can see it from the side on this one. That is definitely loaded up. Uh, then if we press the view again... We can actually see where we're shooting. So yes, this is going to be a very accurate tank, I think. And then let's just get off, off of this view so we can see its damage. And let her go. That's what I'm talking about. That's a really nice tank. But like I said, it says at the top to set cannon input to you. So I'm assuming that's a design for this map. And this, this tank is not doing that. So hopefully we don't run into an issue here. But this should be a lot better. All right, so let's get going, buddy. This time, oh, it's much faster, too. The tank treads are staying on, and uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stay far behind this guy. We shouldn't catch on fire, either, because I don't think there's as much wood on this thing, so that's good. But yes, here we go. Finally, we should be able to get somewhere on this very cool tank-based map, so I got to get across this. This is where my teammate blows up. Please don't land on me. Please don't land on me. Oh, looks like it's far away this time, and officially, this is as far as I've gotten, so... This is all new to me, and we're on our own now. All right, looks like we do got an enemy here. Is he? Oh, God, he actually shoots. Okay, did not expect that, and that totally didn't work. So let's just reload. There we go. We should be good. And that should be a direct hit. Is that because we're not pressing U? So if I press U on this, just trying to understand how to kill it. So, yeah, I think that's the issue with this is because I'm not attached to U. I can't actually kill the tank. All right, let's make sure we aim this thing up, because I, I feel like maybe there's a part I have to hit. So, we'll try there, and... I mean, that's a direct... You can see my damn rocket sitting on it. So, that's a direct hit, and I think that's why that's why I didn't want to use this tank. Because I don't think it works with this map, which is really unfortunate, because it's my only other decent tank I currently have downloaded. So, let's see if we can just pass this, maybe, and get a little bit further. So, let him shoot. Don't you do it, don't you do it. Okay, it stopped shooting. It stopped shooting! Please don't shoot me. All right, so we moved on, and there we go. We actually got tracked on that rubble there. We're still going to keep going here because tanks can still go without tracks. Oh, God. Okay, back. Damn it. All right, well, she's seen much better days. It doesn't even look like a tank anymore. Oh, my God. Just I just got to stay right here, and I didn't realize it started shooting that quickly, but that's why I blew up. My God. We really need to get this thing down, and I really need to hit it here. 
There we go! Did I actually take out a vehicle for once? I mean, this thing is so bad. Not that it's a bad tank. I mean, its tracks fall off, so it's not the greatest, but it's a beautiful looking tank when it's not like totally, like this thing's about to fall apart. You can see it's, it's not even staying together at this point. Oh God, don't rip off the back end. We just need to get around this. And then I think, well, we, we, we got a little while to go, so I don't know how long we'll last. Oh, I see what you're doing there, you little jerks, trying to drop that on top of me. It isn't happening. We're gonna keep going here. What does it say? Kill the SD KF. Oh, you guys are throwing crap at me. Okay, I'm gonna stay right under here. All right, but we have to shoot the engine. That's gonna be harder than it seems with this thing. But hey, if we get a lucky first shot, we're good to go. This thing's got a really powerful cannon on it. That's its one selling feature right now. So here we go. Looks good enough to me. Oh, I actually, I probably have to open it up, don't I? I thought I could shoot through wood, but I guess, nope, can't break through wood. That makes a lot of sense. A damn tank cannot break through wood. So let's just go and hope for the best here. Can I just open it up? Do I have to break it? I'm, I'm, I'm too broken to break it, guys. I really, I can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I just broke my damn tank doing that. Oh, God, they're, they're breaking me. They're breaking me. I'm still here. Half of me. Nope, I'm dead. Okay. I think that's it for me, guys. That IS-3 just doesn't have the defense to hold it out. We almost took back the territory, but as you can see, they're still running it, unfortunately. All right, I had to come back to the C-121 Ares because I wanted to see how accurate this thing is. It kind of impressed me how good the autoloader is because usually autoloaders are really cool to play with, but they're very hard to actually use. You have to line up a lot of things and whatnot. This one's amazingly just one button. Uh, I didn't actually show it also has a gun stabilizer on it So I just have drag objects on right now just to kind of show you guys that but obviously if you're soaping up the bumps trying to shoot on the run uh, Gun stabilization is very very important so you can see it kind of just stays in the middle tries its best to stay in the middle And uh, that's gonna allow you to make an accurate shot on the move All right, but let's get into the fun part uh, Loading this thing up and you can see I don't got to do anything I just press one button wait for it to load and it's ready to go Everything's locked and loaded and now we can just aim this thing up and and uh, see what we can hit. So let's go to the very close targets right now. Now, usually rocket-based projectiles are not as accurate as the cannonballs, so I'm curious to see how accurate this gun will be. This should be... Okay, a little bit of a bullet drop, but because it's a rocket, it blew up. So let's reload that, which it looks up into the air for some reason when we do that. It should be totally reloaded now. Let's go to a little bit further, and we're going to have to compensate for that bullet drop. Benefit being with this gun is it's got a blast radius on it as well. So ooh, we were way off that time. So yes, the bullet drop is quite large in this. So long range shots, it really wouldn't be that good. But its blast radius is really where it sells itself. So let's see what happens here. Oh, actually a little bit too far there. So yeah, already we're kind of having issues hitting these targets. So it's definitely not a long range cannon. But for short range battles with this, with the crazy speed that the autoloader is... Uh, it's a perfect combination here here. So I did notice it went a bit to the right So we're gonna put that a bit to the left and oh that didn't hit it. Okay a little bit of a delay there Let's go for a long shot though. I want to try a trick shot and uh, I don't know if this gun will be ever be able to do it But I'm gonna go for do we want to go for the back row? No, there's no way I'd ever hit that Let's go for the second back row. That's as far as we've gotten anyways So I problem is I can't even see it to aim it. So we just got to hope for the best here and boom goes the dynamite Oh, if I could hit that first try. Oh, I'm so, it's just so close. My God. All right, let's try one more shot here. We're basically going to have to look where the gun goes when it loads itself. So let's try that. And you can see the bullet drop is just absolutely crazy following it. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay, I, I didn't want to shoot my tank, but I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, that might be good. That might be good. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. All right, just a little bit lower. That might be it. It's hard to tell. Sometimes these are a little bit off center too. Are you serious? We're so close. I, I lowered that quite a bit and it still went too far. So load it up. I kind of got a good aiming reticle here. We got to wait for that big bright line and keep it at the bottom there like that. That should be good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get it. Get it. Oh. Man, it's just teasing me at this point. That's it. That's it. Calling it. Come on. Hit it. No. God damn it. What? How did I hit the back one? 
All right, you know what? I'm taking it, guys, because, uh, yeah, that was not easy. Just for a reference of, like, distance, let's just, uh, why am I... Why am I way over here? That's weird. Okay, but yeah, just for a reference of distance, now you can kind of see how far we were shooting. I uh, wasn't aiming for that one, but hey, I took down the furthest one. I'll count it, damn it. All right, and moving on, we got the self-proclaimed generic car, as it's called. Now, uh, I chose this one because it's not really that generic, let's be honest here. Anything that's called generic in Besiege usually has a few cool features. This one, it's got a nitro boost. But it, it's like a really ridiculous nitro boost. So there we go. Uh, this is the main reason why I wanted to play with this car. Because it's very, very fast. I, I, I can't even turn right now. I'm just understeering like crazy. Also, it's got a flip the bird button. But there's no humans. So I don't even know. Uh, <laughs> the car flips the finger. Okay, can I put my finger down? No, I, that, that's it. Well, once it's up, it's up. All right, and this is why I wanted to try out this car. I mean, check out this map. We got a huge jump here and a big ball for some reason. Uh, so yes, R to reset, death on wheels, press E. All right, I, I gotta try it. Oh, well, there's that ball. Okay, well, we know what it's for now, so I guess we could try and outrun the ball if we want to. That'd be pretty cool. There was actually a ball thing down there. All right, let's try it without the ball first, though, just to see if we can get some decent air here. I'm not even going to use my boost. We're just going to be a generic car for this generic first jump. Oh, God. Oh, I'm worried I'm going to bottom out and break the whole thing. But you know what? That was rather light and nice, you know? What, what I expected. Now, though, we're going to try with the boost, and we'll see. I don't even know if it's going to survive the ramp. Uh, it might be just too much of a downforce, but here we go, and oh, oh, not bad, not bad at all. I mean, we lost most of our wheels before we went off the damn ramp, but it's very hard to get a realistic jump in Besiege. That's one thing I've found is doing car jumps is always very, very unrealistic, so it was kind of cool that it actually did it and did it quite well. So let's see if we can uh, death on wheels, outrun the, uh, oh god, outrun that, oh my god, that just missed me. Uh, it should go, okay, okay, it's going faster now, oh my god, oh my god, oh, boost, <laughs> that thing really picked up some speed, oh, right into the zone, though, that's exactly where we're supposed to go. All right, next up, we also have a generic sports car, now, this one doesn't have a boost on it, though, so it's literally just a car, so... I'm gonna see how good this thing is. It should be a lot faster because it's a sports car. And yes, indeed it is. Oh my god, this one might beat the other one without freaking rockets on it if I didn't destroy it. Let's uh, reset that and I'll, I really like this this whole death on wheels thing. So I'm all about it. Let's uh, oh, oh just pull up a little bit. There we go. I, I, I need to wait for it. I, I don't want to get too much of an advantage, but it can really pick up some speed here. So, oh my god. Wow, that is ridiculous. Oh, isn't it beautiful? We have the flying manta ray here, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, this thing's actually... It's cool because it, it's, it's got such a movable frame on it, which is weird, but obviously it looks like a manta ray flapping underwater. But yes, this is a flying creation, obviously. And uh, we actually got a new AI to check out, too. So I figured this would be a good small creation to see how good the AI is. Let's see... Oh, 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 we almost did it, little guy, but right at the end there, I totally screwed up. All right, but we have another AI on the map. This one's supposed to be really good at uh, dealing with flying creations, so we'll see. Uh, we've seen, like, two of these now. This is the fifth one, guys, so this guy just keeps making more advanced and more advanced AI, and I'm all for it, so it should actually chase us and try and destroy us, and I want to see how good this one is, so let's give it time to... Whoa, did it shoot me? What was that? Was that me? Oh my god! Oh, Jesus! Okay, I was thinking maybe I could outrun that, but look at him. Look at him just going for the core block. That is all he's looking for, and he is totally destroying it. Uh, yeah, I think you won, my friend. I don't... I don't think we're gonna have a chance of outrunning this thing. Alright, this time, guys, we're gonna go far away and try and hide, because, uh, clearly... The AI has no problems totally destroying us, so... Uh, oh my god! Oh, hit, hit my tail off that mountain just a little bit. So this guy, he constantly falls a little bit, so it's always a little bit of a process to try and get him to fly very well. But really, it's one of the coolest little flyers I've seen in a long time. Oh my god! No! Where's the AI? 
There it is, and it's just hitting my little piece. All right, let's try and not hit the wall this time. Oh god, this is like a game of hide and seek, except when they find you, you die! Oh my god! Jesus. It is, it is just relentless. There's nothing that could outrun this. All right, let's give another plane a try here. Well, the other thing was a manta ray, so hardly a plane, but this one... It's called Ronin, and it's like a futuristic-like plane, and I really think this one might be able to outrun it. It's pretty fast. Oh, my God. A little bit hard to control, but hey, I got the hang of it. I got it now. Don't hit the wall. As long as we don't hit the wall, we're good. All right, where's that AI, though? I'm just waiting for it. It's the most horrifying thing ever because it's so small. You never really see it until it's too late. And oh, 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 it lagged me. It really lagged me, and it got me with that lag as well. Okay, let's slow that down a little bit. God damn, even this thing. I thought maybe you had a chance because it was a little bit faster, but no. This AI doesn't give a damn how fast you are. It comes over, and it totally destroys you. So I slowed it down because I just, oh, I love it. I love how accurate this thing is. I have no idea how this thing works, but the fact that it can take a plane out of the air with ease is truly impressive. All right, and on that, guys, we're going to wrap up another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. I thought I would show you the one-wheeled tank, though. Technically, it's got four wheels, but hey, it's still... It's, it's kind of one wheel. It's I feel like it should be in Star Wars, you know? They always had these weird designs, and let's see what happens when... Yes, as I assumed when we shoot, it does kind of fully go all the way around again, so you're ready to go. I mean, it's a little bit off, though. But yeah, I thought I'd show you guys this weird design to end it off, and yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Easter. That was once again another episode of the Best Besieged Creations. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.